This experiment is about the speed of light, specifically the speed of light in three different materials, air, glass and syrup. Now you can see what I've got, a sheet of typing on the table with a sheet of pattern glass over the top. This is the sort of wriggly glass you might get if you used it for a toilet window or a bathroom window. And it's really quite difficult to read the typeface below it. But now, let's put some syrup on the top of the typing. Now it's fairly sticky stuff this, so it's going to take a while for it to drain off my spoon. But it's getting better and better by the moment. You can see that the typeface below the glass on its own is really quite difficult to read, but the typeface underneath the syrup is much, much easier to follow. Now, why is this? Well, two reasons. First of all, the syrup flows out into a flat shape and so we've basically got a parallel sided block of glass syrup. The bottom face of the glass touching the table is flat and the top face of the syrup is also flat. And the other thing and the more interesting thing is the speed of light in glass and syrup. Now, because the refractive index is about the same in glass and syrup, it means there's no refraction at the boundary and the speed of light in glass and syrup is the same or very close to being the same. And so there's no change of direction of the light at the syrup glass boundary and therefore no distortion of the text.